Hey guys, it's day 45 of the 50 day prayer challenge. It's crazy to think that we're almost at the end. Um, and I just thought that we would be thankful for this great day. It was an absolutely beautiful day here for our Shabbat. Um, we got to do a little bike ride. I got to listen to some great teachings and then, um, yeah, then sat out in the sun for a while. Good old vitamin D, highly recommend it. All right, so Lord, we just thank you for this day. I thank you so much as we are ending October and moving to November, Lord, as things are getting closer and closer. I ask you that you would just be with your people. Lord, I ask you that you would be with our governments. Lord, I ask you that you would be with this nation. And Lord, I ask you that you would be with Israel. There's so many things that we could call out and cry out and ask you that you would quicken our hearts and show us on a very personal note things that we need to relinquish, things we need to let go and allow you to have control of, Lord. Things that we need to just remove from our lives. People that we need to speak truth to out of love. And people that we need to maybe sever relationships. And people we need to start new relationships with. Lord, I ask you that you would point all these things out. And I thank you that you show us step by step in the ways to go, Lord. I, I love that you go A, B, C, D in order. You don't go do A, now go do D, now go do F, G, and then come back and do C. Lord, I thank you that you, you are a God of order and you show it to us so that each thing unfolds properly. Lord, I ask you that you would also just minister peace to those. Lord, I know that there seems to be a, a cry of COVID increases, um, but Lord, I ask that you would allow no fear. Lord, that there would be a truth, an absolute truth that follows this. Lord, I thank you that you do have officials in place, um, and I know that you are aware of everyone there, that you've allowed them to be there. I ask you that they would be there, placed exactly where they need to be to do what they need to do. And Lord, if some of that is lies and deceit, I just ask that your people not be taken by the lies and deceit, that you would allow discernment and you would allow um, actual just peace in that discernment, not double-mindedness, double Lord, that you would just allow us to not be double-minded. Lord, I ask you that you would be with all those all around the world, Lord, you would be with those in Israel and the people, Lord, who are in lockdown, who are really feeling vulnerable, who are feeling truly desperate, and depressed, I ask you that you would just give them a sense of hope. Put someone in their lives or let them hear a message. Let them spend this time in your word. Lord, I thank you for the COVID. I thank you for this crazy thing. As you said, be thankful in all things. Lord, I thank you for the chaos. You said, be thankful in all things. And Lord, for those people who are seeking you, may this be the time that we call out, that we not miss the day of visitation, that we not miss you speaking in that still small voice that we answer and say, just like Abraham, yes, I'm here. Just like Samuel, yes, I'm here. Just like Jacob, yes, I'm here. That we would respond with, yes, I'm here. Not be like Adam who hid out of fear, but that we respond in love. We respond in eagerness to serve you. Even when it means dying to flesh, which is actually what we need to get better at. That we might die to flesh just like our Messiah did. That we might walk in him. Lord, I thank you for being the creator. That you are a loving God. That you created us in your image so that we might return to you. I just ask you that you would give us all a good evening. That you would allow our sleep to be filled with dreams and peace. Dreams of you and peace in knowing the end of the story. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, amen. Guys, have a great evening. We will be counting down. It's getting, getting really close. I just really suggest that you all get in the word and do not allow the spirit of fear anywhere in your presence. All right, guys, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.